Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next Kunja Schlala video on this channel here. I'm glad that you're here at the start again and today we will have a look how you can use your slammer. Maybe you wonder, does this still work to use the stone slammer with Kunja Schlala? Isn't like flame flinger, blimp, lock launcher or battle drill stronger than this? Well, I will show you how you can use your slammer and why this is still a strong siege and I decided to use the slammer in Legend League instead of the battle drill. So let's have a look at the first attack here. This was from a King of the Hill, but it's like the same format. So uh, Legend League start on the base without planning and see in 30 seconds what is your plan on the space. So what did they thought in this space? It looks like the tunnel is very outside at 12 o'clock with the monolith uh, straight behind the town hall so I can easily lado it with an early vulnerability. And I saw, okay, I, I don't know, flaming value isn't that nice, but behind the town hall there isn't that much damage and there I can use my slammer together with my lado. Let's see how this works. My king is getting the enemy queen, is getting the ricochet cannon and clearing the scattershot compartment together with luring out the clan castle and tanking those shots from the super minions here. At the same time, my queen is stepping around the eagle and then coming back towards the core. You see the multi is reachable for my queen from this compartment so I don't need to wall break her more into the base otherwise the other expo would just be earlier on my, end, on my own queen. So 1 minute 20 left, I decided to stop my lava. And you see the slammer here at this point. There isn't much air damage for this slammer. No monolith, no air hero, no single inferno tower. So you see the slammer has a perfect value. At the same time, the lava is going in. I have still a rage left for my lava. And the haste here flanking towards the town hall. So town hall is going down. Monolith also going down with the rage balloons. And the slammer in, in the core is still alive. Clearing off the first multi -fera tower. The queen at the same time pushing right to the back end scattershot compartment. My yetis are now in the core and together with the warden and the yeti mites they are clearing the second multi inferno tower in the core and you see there's an overkill and I don't need my RC. I can swag my RC I'm doing a screenshot for this just to see uh, yeah to share some people how strong slammer attacks still are. So let's have a look at the next base here in Legend League, this is uh, a kind of toxic box base, not that's nice to hit with Kuja Shadow. So it wasn't a 10 out of 10 plan on the space, but I didn't thought that there is something better here to do with Kuja Shalala. So what was my thoughts here? I can play a nice lemma for the Eagle when the air defense is out. So that's my yeah, slammer don't get doesn't that get that much damage and my queen at the same time charging into the multi tower compartment so that she can also reach the multi archer tower in the core and the scatter shot. At the same time I funnel with my king, luring out the clan castle with my king and killing the enemy king. <laughs> Maybe I'm abusing the word king a bit, but uh, you know what I mean. At the same time, Warbreak coming into for the queen. Perfect timing here. The king at the same time clearing out the bottom of here and now I'm dropping the slammer towards the cannon so that the slammer will go to the wizard tower then to the builder hut and then later towards to the eagle. At the same time I create a lot of damage with the rage tower so I need my ability here unfortunately. At the same time the queen is skipping the air defense so my slammer is opening up a bit earlier together with the sand but without any spell I get the, I get the eagle here. So what can I do next? I see I don't have a queen ability and there's a monolith, there are two sweepers, there's scattershot ground ball. There's no possibility that I get my town hall with those spells and without the queen ability. So I decided I let my queen die. I start the ladder to the town hall and the healers are still alive. So maybe using them for the world champion, but the healers are going to the wizard what I dropped at 12 o'clock. Very unfortunately that not all healers survived and my healers are still stuck. Look at the healers. Why aren't they switching to the world champion? I don't get it. I really don't get why they aren't switching the world champion. Isn't that far away? This uh, thing Supercell should fix so soon because it's so annoying and it doesn't make sense why the healers are stuck there. 
but it's still a triple because the Royal Champion in the back end with the Fox and Sting and Royal Champion is clearing this here. Maybe when the healer switch it's a bit better, but um, in the end it's here, it's triple for me. So we see the next base. Again, a diamond base with four ground balls and poison toy at the town hall. I thought to charge against this is uh, not that nice. So I decided I do a far side charge and try to get two bots to eat him. How does this work? I have also using Frosty on the queen because I decided to switch it. Frosty is also taking some damage of the ricochet cannon and um, so the unicorn with the eye early and the frosty is taking also when you charge against air heroes the frost is in front of the queen and taking those damage so how can this still work the king i'm funneling into this compartment here with a shot on the ricochet cannon and the next shot the multi is down because the ricochet cannon is straight directly towards the multi thermal tower but I lost unfortunately because I'm one second too late with the freeze. I'm losing my queen ability. And now at this moment I thought, okay, my king doesn't get the ricochet cannon. My queen would walk her whole life. I don't know how she will go back. But after the queen plateau, the queen is directing back because of the clan castle troops. This was so lucky for me. I didn't know that this would happen. But I will take it and now I'm looking how I can lalo this town hall. I decided to use my slam at 9 o'clock. Why do I do this? There is the poison tower and the poison tower, the poison shot, doesn't affect the slammer. Otherwise loons would die very fast against the poison tower and the multi from the tower. So the slammer is perfect here for my lalo parting and clearing out those defenses in front of the town hall with the multi from the tower. So you see the slammer taking also um, tanking damage from the multi archer tower at the same time here connecting and pushing through and you see how this works the royal champion is still alive with the rage at the back end the queens arrive clean out the eagle in the car and now this is the triple with the yetis out of the slammer maybe you think yetis of the slammer is this really good that the slammer is really broken although the yeti can do some cleanup and take and taking out back end defenses Let's have a look at the next diamond base. Here I am using the slam in the beginning. Why do I do this? I saw maybe I can blimp it, but the slammer would be better because the slammer is flying into the right direction here. I can rage it up so that I get here the ground bow and the multi inferno tower so that I have a nice funneling for my queen in the tower department when I charge it. You see, I'm getting here the funnel because of the flame flinger drops as well with the wizard how the builder hut and the mortar here at this time. So getting perfect funnel here for my queen. She will step around. I'm trying two wall breaks. They are opening up. Not that good, but if the wall breaks survive longer, the toner would have been activated and there would be more damage. Oh my toner, look at the loon. The loon drop with the Sam activates the town hall. But my queen fortunately gets back to the town hall and is taking it down. So I'm playing my king at the bottom to take out the enemy queen and taking out a bit of damage here at the corner. At the same time my queen pushing right through the monolith. The CC also missing. I did get the clan castle with my blimp because the clan castle is at the other, at the other side. I'm using my king ability and the clan castle troops are splitting. They are headhunters, they are monolith. That's not perfect. Do I invest some spells of my queen? What am I doing? Using the inverse. Just in time, just in time. No need to hesitate, all fine. I'm trying to freeze eagle and monolith. This freeze is possible, but it is very hard to, um, to get it. At this time, I didn't. Uh, yeah, was I wasn't able to to get it, but my queen survived. Monolith is going down, and you see my queen. She will step up to the one o'clock side and will do some cleanup troops. At the same time, playing my Lalo into the core here, I had to delay my vulnerability because my Lalo here didn't follow that 
perfect and the eagle shots were perfect against my loons so not good here for me. But I'm funneling with my world champion at the side so that my push of loons will power here through the core through the poison tower multi for tower and you see what I meant with my queen she will clear the back and I have two handles left to help to push through the enemy royal champion my royal champion is still alive with the fox so they will clear for sure the scattershot and the ground ball here and my queen is still alive so that my queen with ability with tanking of the little small archers will take down all that stuff if time is enough is the time enough warden and royal champion clearing the arch tower and as the time is no issue at this point. So let's have a look at the next diamond's base. What am I doing? Again, a far side charge. What was my thoughts on this? I saw that in the, uh, on the far side there isn't that much damage against the queen charge. Two sweepers, yes, poison towers, okay. But no ugly CC timing or rage ground balls, monolith and those stuff. Also the ricochet cannons are on the scattershot compartments towards the town hall, so my charge would have been not that much expensive, but I also get nice value with multi furnal towers, multi archer towers. And then I can plan my Lalo over the town hall, the air defenses in the town compartments, tanking here for my balloons when they push through. But let's see how this queen charge works works first. My king, I'm using a dying layer so that my king will get the whole scattershot compartment. The queen is there, I'm using just my king ability so that my king will yeah, clear out the whole base here. At the same time, wall breaks into for my queen and the king. You see the ability, one shot to the scattershot. Phoenix is there, so the scattershot is going down. The ricochet cannon would also be perfect, but the King is directing towards the clan castle group, so a cannon will survive here. And now I have to wait because of the Warrex, the Dark Elixir Collector. You see, I'm dropping those cleanup troops so that this compartment will go down. I have one Warrex left. I try to Warrex so that I can get both multi Furnal Towers. But can this Warrex work? You see, I'm trying it and not that good wall. So at this time I also decided to play my slam at this time so that's my so that the walls will get opened for my queen and so that she will get the core. At the same time I have Yetis in it and they can take the monolith and other damage in the core for my queen. At the same time Lalo pushing here into I have two rage spells for the Lalo because you know my charge wasn't that, that expensive concerning the rage spells. And now I see, okay, my healers would die here maybe, so dropping the world champion straight towards the multi inferno tower. You see Diggy on it because Fox is upgrading and my Lado still pushing through with the last rage here with the freeze on all that stuff with get a shot for a champion, ground by multi arch tower and my headhunters on the royal champion. Headhunters in the giant bombs are down. But my heroes are still alive, the Oles on the enemy royal champion. I have my royal champion ability what kills the enemy royal champion. And this is no problem here again on this diamond base. But now have a look. There's a ring base in this video. How can you use a slam on the ring base? Sometimes you can play it as a at a, at a best of limp. So you don't limp it, you play a slam so that you can funnel a bit better but you have also yetis in the core to get some value. What was my uh, thought on this attack? I want to charge the taller from this side, funneling with my king and you also can play when you don't have a nice flame fling up on you at ring bases for example or a nice blimp where you would up or you see you don't need a blimp you can charge all that stuff um, yeah, what can I do here? I knew, okay, my queen won't survive the whole attack. This isn't isn't possible with four rage spells and this arm become not, not really possible at this moment. So I decided I don't use a siege for my queen charge. I will just use the slammer for the ladder so that I have more power than... I will let my queen get the town hall. After the town hall, she will die. And then I play my Lalo straight into the core from behind the sweepers with a perfect warning ability to clear out the whole uh, damage in the core. So let's see how this works. 
I don't have that much spells left to charge. Like I said, it's very expensive into this um, merge defenses here. And so slam at the bottom to funnel here for my charge. And the slammer will go to the arch tower, then to the mortar. And you see what I meant with the queen. There's so much damage, either with a uh, rage and a free spell. With all that rage stuff, not possible to get it. So slammer directing towards the bomb tower in the core will also get the scatter shot flying towards the scatter shot and then with yetis in it this will go down and this is a perfect funnel for my lalo here i'm using an early warner build to, to get a hound in it i found a tornado trap not <laughs> that perfect here for my hound because my hound is stuck here but my, the rage here to power through the multi inferno tower to the mo through the monolith all that stuff and you see hound still surviving loons of the core still surviving the yetis are still alive clearing the pack and expo so that's my Royal Champion doesn't have that much damage in the backhand. This, this Yetis in the Slammer are so OP, you maybe don't know how strong they are really. But here you can see it. Queen Judge Lalo, when you crack it on some bases, it looks like... I don't know. When, when you crack it, it's, it seems to be perfect. And this still works. Let's have a look at the last base for this video. This base was built by Philip. Um, German player but I didn't fit the space before. What are my thoughts? I can play my slammer here from the 6 o'clock side, so the slammer will go towards the multi for tower. So it, if there are any Tesla, the slammer would also take out those. That's the reason why I play slammer and not a blimp, for example. A blimp also can be trapped easily by two black mines and the slammer when I play a loom before is a bit safe. So I'm getting also the air defense here on the left side. So the air defense isn't annoying here for my queen charge later when my queen is stepping into the tower compartment. At the same time, I have to funnel my king, but is this too late? Will my king go back? The, oh, and the king is redirecting. Okay, perfectly. At this time, I let the invis pop here from my queen so that the invis isn't annoying later with the attack. I have to use spells now here so that my queen survives. But how will she step? She will step to the gold storage. I'm trying to war break her. The monolith. Oh, the war break is on a tornado. Monolith on it. So this wall is opening, okay? That's kind of interesting. And the queen is stepping back here so that the monolith is going down and the queen is perfect in the tower compartment. At the same time, the king at 3 o'clock. What did my king? He killed the whole clan castle, the enemy queen, the ground bow, so perfect will you for my king so that my queen doesn't have to fight the enemy clan castle and I have to invest much more spells when there are three ice golems and a heavy damage so off the base. So I'm playing my Lalo into straight the core where is the whole damage with the rage compartment here and I'm playing the free spells here onto the scatter shots so that my Lalo will just push through those damage. And my world champion, I delayed on world champion to finish here the back end. You see again, I have Diggy on world champion and this isn't perfect here. And now you see the reason why. Diggy is on a skeleton trap and look at the ricochet cannon. The ricochet cannon is so much damage on my world champion. Killed the half-life of a world champion for sure. This is, is a, big, uh, a big advantage when you use the fox. Because the fox makes bo both invisible and then your Royal Champion is immune against any out of damage. So, the next triple here for me, not that much overkill, but it shows the slammer can still work and I hope you can in uh, play it also with your attacks. Thanks, thanks you for watching, see you tomorrow.